Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be making this red bow tie. It's quick and easy to make and you can make it for yourself or your cat. A bow tie is a great addition to any man's wardrobe. If you're not afraid to stand out from the crowd, then a bow tie is just the thing for you. First you're going to need a few things. You'll need some fabric. You only need a small amount depending on how big you want your bow tie to be. You also need scissors, tailor's chalk, needle and thread, and an iron and ironing board. I definitely recommend using a sewing machine. You can hand sew your entire bow tie if you want, but a sewing machine makes things a whole lot easier. You'll need a long thin object like a pen or a pencil. I'll explain why we need it later. And finally, you'll need a bow tie kit. You can get these at your nearest sewing supply store or in bulk at AliExpress. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll begin by cutting out the fabric. I'm using crepe back satin. It's shiny on one side and dull on the other. Do all your markings on the wrong side of the fabric. Cut out a rectangle that is 15 by 43 centimeters. This will make up the bow. If you're after a bigger bow tie, make this piece bigger. Next, cut out the strap. Make this 5 by 61 centimeters. Finally, cut out the last piece, which is 5 centimeters by 11 centimeters. Once you have cut out the fabric, fold the bow piece in half widthwise with the wrong side of the fabric facing out and pin. If you want to, iron the fabric flat. Do the same with the other two pieces. Now we're going to start sewing. Set up your sewing machine and using the guides that you can find on the needle plate, sew one and a half centimeters from the edge of the bow piece, starting from the folded edge and stopping short as shown in the diagram. If you want to make your bow tie a bit bigger, simply sew closer to the edge. Remember to backstitch at the start and end. Do the same for the other pieces, except sew half a centimetre from the edge instead. Use the edge of the presser foot as a guide, as approximately half a centimetre. If you're happy with what you have, go ahead and cut off the excess fabric on the bow piece. If you want to, use a zigzag stitch around the raw edges of the fabric to stop it from fraying. Do this to the other two pieces as well. When you're ready, turn the bow piece inside out. We're going to turn the strap inside out. There are a few ways to do this, I'm going to show you one. Grab your long thin object, I'm using a pen, but if you have something like chopsticks, that's even better. At the close end of the strap, make a base and place the tip of your long object there. What we're going to do is push this end out the opposite end. Start stacking the fabric on the pen like so. It may take some time, you don't want to stare through the fabric. When you reach the end, grab the end that you just pushed through and pull it out. Do the same with the last remaining piece. We're going to close off the open ends with a bit of hand sewing. Iron down your pieces so they are flat like I have. Prepare your needle and thread and tuck in the ends of the fabric like so. We will be using the ladder stitch. To do the ladder stitch, stick your needle in one of the edges of the fabric, then go directly opposite the edge and stick your needle in and slide it through about half a centimeter. Follow the edge of the fabric. Repeat this until you reach the end, then knot off. Do this for all three bow pieces. Let's put together the strap. For this, we'll need your bow tie kit. Thread the strap through the slider like so. Fold down this bit of the strap and sew it into place. Next, grab the piece of the hook and slide it through. 
Make sure the hook is on the same side as the piece that you sewed down earlier. Grab the other end of the strap and thread it through the slider like I have. Grab the last piece of the kit and thread it through the strap and sew it down. We will now fold a bow piece. Grab it and fold it into thirds. Then shape it into a bow like I have. Put a few stitches in the middle of the bow to hold it in place. It doesn't matter how messy you are, the stitches will be covered up. We're gonna attach the bow piece onto the strap. We do this by hand stitching it onto the bow. You don't need to be neat here. For the final step, we will cover up the stitches using the third and final piece of the bow. Wrap it around the middle of the bow and use the ladder stitch to sew it into place. And there we have it, a bow tie. Bow ties are great for formal occasions and are even better for putting on cats. Be sure to take photos for virtual internet points. If you have found this video useful, leave a like. Stay tuned for more videos in the future.